Hey friends, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. Today is a beautiful journal share. These journals are from Michelle Wynn. I'm sure if you followed my channel, you've heard her name before. She's one of my favorite artists because I love how she can put the most random things together to create the most beautiful journal. So we have four journals from her today. And I just want to remind you that there's free shipping to the United States. And then today, October 6th, 2021 is the last day to get your free stitched collaged pockets with any journal order so i still have some sets left there's a limited number but there's still some sets left so with each journal that you order and check the marketplace links below because there's other journals for sale that have been reduced in price and are looking for a good home so you get two pockets for every journal sold and I think there is 11 sets left so we're going to start looking at these but I want to thank you Michelle for this sweet little gift you sent me oh it's a card I thought it was a journal card but I'll probably use the front as a journal card beautiful and then look oh my I love it so cute it's like a little notebook with a little folder so useful thank you so much it's nice and sturdy i love the way it looks thank you for thinking of me it's so sweet of you we're going to start off with this journal from michelle she said this was a challenge journal so she's using specific digitals and reminder to all those of you who want your journals shown by the end of the year you have to have them postmarked by october 31st and then they will be shown by the end of December. Otherwise, they will start being shown in January. So make sure you get them in by then if you still want them shown by the end of the year. So this is fabric covered. We have little metal book corners. What a beautiful, this is collaged. I don't know if you can tell um, on video, but there's lots of layers. And I love this little book plate. You could put a year or a favorite word or a last name. Two signatures. This is heavy duty. This is a covered book, like a repurposed book. We have a hitch post fastener, and we'll learn more about this book. It is called Delilah. Two signatures. She's used Wilhelmina, Golden Hour, and Past Words. You can just go on my website, type those in. They'll pop up. And additionally, she's used Tracy Fox, Pink Monarch Prince, and Vintage by Me. You can find all of them on Etsy. Look at the wax seal just have to point that out really pretty michelle always puts her journals together in such a fantastic way i love her work look at how pretty look at the edging you see there's charms hanging and i love these little fabric ribbons sticking off the edges she makes her journals very usable there's a lot in them, so you don't feel like you're getting a slimmed down journal, but she leaves so much creative space for you, but it's never boring. Different pages, and I love what she did here. When she printed Wilhelmina, it, and I don't know if this was purposeful or not, but you can see how it got wet, and inkjet... I'm assuming she printed on inkjet because laser wouldn't do this. Inkjet will react and kind of um, mess up the image and it can come out so artistically beautiful. My guess is she sprayed this side so it wasn't blank white and then it came through so gorgeous on this side. And you can see here in the corner, she has some jelly printed pages, which are beautiful. And of course, her ephemera. I love these subtle colors. Like, it's not overdone, but it's so pretty. Update on my 20 journals I'm working on making, if you saw that video the other day. Um, I have 19 of them covered with paper, wallpaper, whatever I was going to cover them with. I have my last one on my desk that I'm working on covering. And then I need, of course, ink and... Uh, then I need to decorate the covers and then I need to do the pages. I mean, we're talking, this is going to take me a very long time, but um, what was the point? Oh, pages. 
I ordered some gold parchment paper from Amazon um, that I want to use in the journals. Hopefully it comes in time. And then I want to dye a bunch of papers too. And so that's my train of thought. I was looking at Michelle's jelly prints and her dyed splash papers and thinking I need to do some to put into my big batch. I love that. So pretty. No puppy. Oh, my puppy found some wallpaper and he's chewing on it. Go get your bone puppy. Don't chew on this. Oh, pardon me. I got to move the wallpaper out of his way. Don't chew on that. So pretty. Oh, I love that music paper. This is gorgeous. Just gorgeous. All right. Then we're going to look at this one. I would say this is a very traditional Michelle type journal. She doesn't often put on tassels, so that's a treat. Look at these beads. Some paper beads here. I wouldn't be surprised if she made made them, but I don't know that for sure. You can unclip the tassel if you wish. Isn't that beautiful? Just gorgeous. You have a seam binding closure. There's the cover image. And this is called Josephine, 72 pages, mixed media cover, digi tags, or no, digi tags, this is digitals, vintage by me, Tracy Fox, Mrs. Cog, Victoria Designs, and Jessica Rapp. So a little bit of everything. Ooh, look at how pretty those stenciled pages are. I love the two colors. This is kind of one of her eclectic type journals. She just uses so many different things, puts them together, and they look beautiful. Just beautiful. Love these sprayed pages. And a whole bunch of different themes in here, so you can always find a spread to work on, no matter what color scheme or theme you're in the mood for. Beautiful. Bunch of stuff in the back as well. So this one is called Josephine. And then we have this one. Again, two signatures, mixed media cover. And this one looks a little darker. Look at that black and white flower. Isn't that pretty? This is called Doodle Flower 2. Mostly mixed media and original jelly prints with a few digitals from Pink Monarch Prints, Vintage by Me, Tracy Fox, and Leanna Scrap. Definitely recommend those shops. I'm familiar with all of them. Jelly prints, they're beautiful, Michelle. you can see these you can feel the paint these are originals they are not copies wow there's a lot of texture paste on these feels really awesome pretty lots of pages Lots to play with. Oh, gorgeous. Just gorgeous. And then her last one for today. I've asked Michelle actually to become a supplier for my shop because I adore her work. It is consistently always good and you all seem to love it as well so i do think i have a box somewhere that might have a few supplies in it she's gonna think kind of think about it try it out and see so coming in the next i don't know so many weeks maybe we'll see some supplies by her again seam binding look at the butterfly on the front love the paper choice and the beautiful tassel again the tassels were movable right here I think Michelle's journals can teach all of us that 
whatever we have in our stash, we can make a journal with and we can make it beautiful. Whatever papers we have, whatever colors we have, just use it. So pretty. And that's a good lesson for me as well. That's one of the things I'm trying to do with my set of working on 20 journals at once is working through using up some stuff and just putting it into the journals. I still struggle with it. I do. But while I was putting together the covers for the journals, I came across like an old book from what I probably bought my first year or second year of doing this. And I still have pages in it. And it's like, I need to use this up. It's funny how we do that, isn't it? How beautiful. So don't forget that every journal you buy today, well, the next 11 journals anyway, we'll get two collaged tuck spots added for free into your order. Um, the deal was for yesterday and today. I only actually had one journal sell yesterday. So if I can get, I can have up to 11 journals sell today to get these free um, freebies. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and please check back with me tomorrow for another video and more inspiration. Have a great day.